Today we're going to review over a tree diagram. A tree diagram is a very organized list for different combinations. For example, maybe you're at McDonald's and then they have drinks, desserts, and different types of uh, sandwiches. So what's the different combinations? What are the different combinations you can get out of it? So for this question, suppose members of the hiking club are served a breakfast bag whenever they have a Saturday morning meeting. They can have beverage, bagel, or fruit. Out of the beverages, there's milk and water, bagels, plain or raisin, out of fruits, apple, banana, orange. So can you complete the organized list of the possible bags? Let's start with milk. Nothing but milk. Because, you know, it makes the body good, makes you stronger. So imagine you get a milk. What kind of, what kind of bagel do you want? I just want plain. What kind of fruit do you want? Apple. Maybe I want to get a plain one. What kind of fruit do I want? Banana. I want a plain bagel. What kind of fruit do I want? Orange. What if I don't like plain bagel because it has no taste to it? I need something sweet in it. Raisin bagels. What kind of fruit do you want? Apple. Raisin bagel. Banana. Raisin bagel. And orange. So we, all these people chose milk. What if they don't like milk? What if they are allergic, lactose intolerant like I am? I have to order water, nothing but water as a beverage. Can we just recopy this? Why not? So, half the choices for water are plain, the other half are raisin. What are the three possible fruits? Apple, banana, orange, apple, banana, orange. So this is a very organized list, because you know, some people would just, like without making an organized list, would just guess, milk, raisin, banana, milk, plain, orange. Then they'll leave some out. So that's why it's very important to create a systematic or a very organized list so you can get every single possible combination. Now it's time to create a tree diagram. Do not mix this up with a factor tree. Factor trees have numbers in them. A tree diagram has symbols or, or letters or words. So milk. What if I chose milk as my beverage? What are the two possible bagels I can get? Plain or raisin? Out of the plain, what kind of fruit can I get? So I can get... One second. So after the plain bagel, I can get what kind of fruit? Apple, banana, orange. If I don't if like plain bagel, I get raisins. Apple, banana, orange. What if I don't like milk? I would like water. What kind of bagels can I get? Plain or raisin? What type of fruits can I get for a plain bagel? Apple, banana, orange. What about raisin? Apple, banana, orange. And that is the tree diagram. If you want to take it a step further, what are the possible combinations? How many combinations can you get from this breakfast order? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 possible combinations or look here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 possible combination so a tree diagram is a very is a picture form of an organized list we do a tree diagram organized list so we can get every single possible combination we do not want to forget any and so this is a great way to get detailed and you will not mix or forget any. So tree diagram.